Hi, this is Charlie, and today we're going to be looking into um, installing and purchasing a Nest thermostat. Uh, the first thing I, 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 I'm going to do is to go to, to go to the website. You're going to go to on their our thermostat and go to installation, and you're going to bring up compatibility checker. You want to make sure that your unit is compatible with that product. So it's going to ask you to remove the cover from the thermostat and check the wiring on there. So that's what we're going to do right now. So here we are the unit and we're going to remove the cover from the unit. It's very simple, you just pull it out. And when you do that, you're going to see a series of numbers right up there. G, Y, W, R, H, B, O, R, C. And I can look in there and I can see that the connection I have is G, Y, W, R, G Y W R H. So that's my connections. So I'm gonna go back on the website and put those letters in. So here we are back at the website and we're gonna put in those letters. So it's gonna be G. So we look for the G and R and W and P H R H sorry. And then we're gonna say yes, check compatibility, you're gonna check it, and it's gonna tell you your system is compatible. And you just go ahead and you just buy it. And there you go. Okay, this is a nest. I just got it from um, from from uh, from Lowe's. Again, it was uh, two forty nine. Uh, that's the newer, the latest version of it. I think I've heard it's smaller than the, the the one from last year, so it's an upgrade. So we're just gonna do a fast. Open it here. And I heard that the, the, the guy who actually made made the nest somehow is used to work with Apple. That's why it's so Apple like in product looking in look at it. The guy who he he's the one that made the, the iPod I think or something like that, or the iPod touch or something. So there we go, it's open. And nice little cover on this, and that's the little baby right here. That's what we're looking at. So I'm gonna put this on the side. Look at the cover. It's all the book and instruction manual and all that kind of stuff. And you have your screws. They actually sent it with an installation screwdriver. So, nice little screwdriver. This is your wall connection unit thingy. <laughs> In there, they also send you two plates. They also have it two plates. This is your under your under holder plate, I think it is. And you have two plates in case. Um, actually, the unit can fit on the wall just by itself. If the, if the, if your hole is small enough to for it, for it to cover, if the hole is too big because you have to replace the one you had, this will cover whatever size hole that's there. Or if it, if you have to go bigger, you go bigger. So now that we have all that, let's go and start installing that bad boy. Here we are. So again, here we are, the unit that we're about to install. And the first thing I'm gonna do is turn off the air condition unit. You can hear it roaring in the background. So I'm gonna turn it off. Um, normally I would turn the main switch outside off, but this is low voltage. So I'm hoping that I won't get zap. But anyway, let's be careful. It's gonna pop the top off from the old unit. And here you can see you have a series of wires there. A series of colors. So I'm guessing G is for green. So it's all connected there. So one of the things that you want to do while you get your little tool, and you take out your, it's gonna be a Phillips in there. So you take out your Phillips. 
and what they did for you. Uh, it's gonna happen. Is they give you a some kind of color coordinator that you can peel this off. It's sticky, and you can stick it on the wires so you remember which wire you took off rear. So the first wire I'm gonna take off is the green wire. So I'm gonna take off the green sticker and put on there. There we go. Pull this off. And again, what I did there, you don't have to do this because. You can just kind of loosen it and it should just pop up, pop off. And this is low voltage, so you're not gonna get you know shock in there. So we're gonna save that screw right there. So we're gonna take so this is G. So we're gonna take out the G on there. I can get it off. Difficult to take this off. There's no fingernails on there. So we have this off. So the first one we have is G, and we're just going to make sure that we have the right one there. So you're going to follow that same formula to go down for each wire. Y, you have the second one which is the Y, so you're going to take out your Y and put Y on there and so on and we're just gonna do that until we have everything out and labeled now during moving um, all the wires are now color coded and out and what I noticed I have a jumper wire from RH to RC um, but the nest it's already built in so that's no longer needed so you can void that and, and leave that out Another thing probably you want to do is take a picture of, of, of all your wires before disconnecting everything so you know you, at least you have a visual um, something to work with. After that you can always go back on your camera on your camera phone or whatever it is or whatever it is and, and check it out. But again the jumper that I have right here, the black one, moving from RH to RC is no longer needed because the nest comes um, with one built in. So the next thing I'm going to do is to remove the old plate on there. So we're just going to unscrew that and this might take a little time, it's a long screw they have in there so we're just going to, we'll come back to that after that's done. So the plate is unscrewed and right there, let's take it out. And now we can see there's a little hole in the center and I have two holes on the side and that's where the plates come into play if you want to use the plates. I can actually use that plate and have a little place and it look like the screws I will still have to get no matter where I use it I will have a screw on either side or I can use this plate and it, it might just fit perfect on this one or what I would love to do I would really like to have the nest just there by itself so I'm going to decide what I want to go with. Should I have the nest by itself and come back in here and fix up the side and pin it up and stuff? Or do I want a cover plate? I'm kind of leaning towards a cover towards the cover plate. And my friend have one, it looks nice on the wall by itself, but the cover plate also look you know really presentable. So we'll see. So when I decide what I want, we'll go from there. So um I've decided to go with the larger plate. I think one it look better, two um, I, I think I, I would rather do the plate. If I change my mind after I'll do it. I'm gonna have to come back and do a little painting on the side here uh, which is not a problem. The good thing about it is I have one screw that's falling directly on the existing hole that's there. On this side I'm gonna have to put a new hole. Um, you know you can use these but luckily I, I keep things like that around the house so I'm gonna use these I rather these instead they they're more sturdy so I already marked my hole it's gonna take the screwdriver and push it in 
and then you just basically screw those in and they screw into the wall I kind of rather these than those little ones there so after I've done that I can basically put that in there and I think it should fall really nicely here then the back of the nest is going to fit right in here it pops in heard it popping and get the screws and see if it will pass everything through so all the wires are in here and if everything is as lined up as it should be oops. In here, it's kind of hard to see the back of it, but it should be right here. Should be, and there's a little level here, so it'll tell you if you need to go down or up, and you just screw it in. So you take a little screwdriver and you screw that bad boy in. Kinda of concerned I was kinda of concerned about my wiring not being long enough also, but we'll figure that out. So it's right here at the level will tell you where it is. I just kinda of like that looks that you have here right now. So we're gonna screw this in the next side. Screw in. It's a bit off, so you're gonna bring it up. You have room to adjust. Okay, screw that bad boy in. Right here. Like this. There's all the wires right here. So now you're gonna start doing your connect your connection. So we're gonna start making our connections. And remember we had all we had them all um color coded or oh, we had it that liquid paper sticky stuff right there. So you press the back and you push in. I'm using the needle nose pliers because my wires has be has become really short. So You press this down at the back here and you push this in. And I think we have the first one in here. And this one is the G. Goes at the bottom. I'm hoping they they all make it long enough. So if the G made makes it, then we know. We pretty much. So it might come in handy for you. to use a, a needle nose pliers. So we're just gonna go ahead and connect all the wires in place and then we'll come the wires connected and come on this side here. So everything is in there. Um, it's really steady on there. Um, our level is showing that it's it's quite level. The only thing that I have to work on here right now is probably a little bit of painting on the side to get the wall back how it's supposed to be. The next thing that we're gonna do is Get the nest make sure you have the right side going down at the bottom and the good thing about it is let me push down a little more in i was thinking at, at the beginning that you had to push the bottom in but i didn't really i didn't read the instructions <laughs> but really when you push the wire in the wire will kind of just hook itself in so looking at it i can see that one of the wires the g is still a bit up I'm just gonna make sure that it's steady in there. It, it, see, it pops out. So we don't want that to happen anywhere. So we're gonna push it in as much as we can. It looks like that's the best we can do. 
Okay, it's looking like it's sturdy, it's, it's good enough. So, we're gonna push the next in. And hope that everything works. popping on um, it's gonna take a little while before it it boot up from what, I, from what I read so we're just gonna let it boot up and then we will pop in from there so here we go right, let's fix the camera so it's all hooked up and it's asking for internet connection heating and cooling location so you're gonna press connect to the internet with remote control update the little weather blah 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 connect and it's already it picks up my wi-fi charlie wi-fi it's asking for the passcode and i guess you just go across numbers and you put on you put in your passcode and we'll come back after so it's hooking up to my internet if I have the passcode put in connect correctly And it's connect it's connected to the network so you click and it's checking for update and so it did the, it did the update it's connected to the internet and now we're going to heat and cooling equipment detected Install it in cooling and fan so and what type of heating do I have? And you just bring it down gas or oil. Do you have a force heating air? I have no idea what is force heating air. I'm going to go to more info. And I'm gonna say yes. Gonna get my location. I'm in the US. I want my zip code. So we're gonna it's gonna be seven. Uh, because when you're still This is home. Is there more than one thermostat in the house? No, just name your thermostat. Just call it this. Temperature. Cooling. What is the lowest and highest temperature? Would you like to have heat? I would heat like 60. Oh. What is the. Cool 
No, I might be wrong there, but anyway, we can change that. And basically, you can just go ahead and I guess just go through and learn your nest and, um, you know, I'm going to go online and Keep my house at about sixty-five. I hope I'm, I'm cool to. No. So there we go. It's on. It's working, and I think we are. What I'm gonna do now is go to my iPad or my, my phones and stuff and go from there. So I just came online and I signed up on the Nest website. Um, put in my password, put in the password. Right now it, it's saying that the, the Nest thermostat has been detected on, on the network. So it did all that and I'm going to agree with the terms and conditions right here. And it said it to verify my account so I'm gonna go to my email and I'm going to click to confirm and it says that it's confirmed so it asking me do I want to add it and I'm going to say yes so it added and you sign up to control your nest from from anywhere it's asking now uh, to type in the entry key displayed in the nest thermostat setting so I'm guessing there might be some kind of key that I have to key in so I'm gonna try to figure it out and now we'll start right now and we're gonna it's asking to add that nest to to my account so I'm gonna press yes so I'm get six done so now let's see it was added so um I think it's added right now the temperature in the house it's 78 degrees it's cooling I have it set to cool down at 70 because I like my house really chilly and right here I think we can control the unit Right here, so I'll be cooling at 71, 69. So let's see. Uh, I'm gonna bring it down to 65, and then we're gonna go to the nest to see if it's communicating via the. So when we get here, it's cooling down to 65. So we go back to the computer and make sure. Oh, so you can see right here, it's set at 75. Okay, so we know that's working. So you can, so I can control my my thermostat on any computer at any time, anywhere. Uh, so I'm gonna bring it back up to 70. That's where I want it, I want it right now, 71, 70. So it's good right here. The next thing we're gonna do is to go to our device, and I have my Nexus, I have my iPad, and my and my Nexus. <coughs> um, phone. I'm gonna take the iPad, and we're gonna try to set up the apps for these different devices so I can control it whatever device that I'm on so the Nest, Nest Mobile is a free app in all in all the app store both Android and 
iOS, so we're gonna I'm gonna download it on my phone right here. We're also gonna download it on the iP my iPad 3. Install that. And also on my Nexus 7. Get a password on there. So all these gonna be downloaded. So they all downloading right now and being installed on different devices. So you can run on your computer, on your iPad, iPod Touch, or any Android device. So this one is done. So I'm gonna put in my information and watch it. And when I have all set up, I'll just control from there. Um, basically, install on a number of devices. Uh, you can see you have the Nexus, and they all look the same. I mean, it's a very simple device. It's easy to control on your device, um, on your phone, on your, on your Android phone, and also on your computer. So you can you can control your home from any device that you own, you know, except the older phones. I guess the flip phone with no apps and stuff. So the next thing we're gonna do is go to the to the Nest and see how that control work in real time. And I think we should be done with that video. Right, right here we right have now. the device right now. Um, I have my my Nexus, and I'm gonna try to see. I'm gonna touch my device and we're gonna bring it up right here you're gonna see and you can see as I'm doing it it's moving up and I guess it, it, it all depends on the on the speed of your of your Wi-Fi also so here we are we have that 82 and we're gonna bring it back down to where I usually like it, which is 70 degrees. So we're gonna bring it on right here. You see, it's set to 70 degrees, and it also shows you um, want the temperature outside in Houston, and also uh, the temperature inside my home right now is at uh, 76, 76, and that's on on your phone. And just to show you that it also, I mean, it works the same, but just to have an idea, um, you click on there, same type of, you know, and again, you can control it, bring it down, bring it up, set it, and let's bring it down to see how it's at 65, so you can see it's going down almost in, in real time, it's going to set to 65, we're going to bring it back up to 80. And keep it here because I'm in the house right now I'm off today so it should work it's back at 70 in real time and that's on the iPad and this is Charlie if you like this video like it <laughs> Charlie out <laughs>